Hello family and friends, I am happy to report that three weeks in and I am still very much alive. For those of you who haven't noticed I'm missing yet, I have moved to the Cayman Islands. After an extremely long fight, I am finally in the Cayman Islands. We landed about 20 past 5, went through immigration quickly and came into the hotel, which is pretty cool. We've got a nice kitchen area, very nice little bedroom. I've been really excited for something new and different. This is it, the adventure begins. In spite of the really long flight, I got up really early this morning. I was just so excited to check this place out. So today is day one on the island and uh, a beautiful sunrise walking along the beach the sand is so beautiful and white and clean and the water is so blue I've never seen anything like this and I get to live in this place for the next 18 months it's just I don't think it's even kind of setting. The first few weeks on this island have been crazy busy. Not exactly sitting on the beach sipping cocktails, but we'll get there. From day one, there's been a whole list of things to do. Find food. Good news, I finally found a decent shopping center. It's called Kirk's. It's basically like Woolworths in South Africa. The best part is that I found Nutella, and so life is now complete. Find a house. Find a car. Meet Rusty. Get insurance on the car because you can't drive a car here without insurance. And then go and do a learner's test so that you can convert your South African license to a Cayman license. Find a bank. The banks are seriously way behind South Africa in all respects. I haven't been to a bank in the last three years. In the last few weeks, I've been to the bank more than four times and had to phone them numerous times. Seriously, Investec, bring your products here. Finally, this week, we found a gym, so I won't be getting fat. Just finished a workout in our new gym. Soon we're gonna look like this dude. And I got a second to register with Saka so that I can start calling myself a CASA. In between all of that, I've become extremely domesticated. It is my first time ever doing laundry, and I really hope that I've done this right. The stuff is in there. Only time will tell. If I've done it wrong, I have no clothes to wear. This week we started some real work after two weeks of training. I have my own desk, which is cool, and I've started to fill it up with movie pictures. I'm doing it gradually so that the auditors don't get a huge shock. It's been a tough start coming in not knowing anything about hedges or finance companies. But I'm learning and it's all worth it to live in this beautiful place. My colleagues are all really cool and we've already had some fun times together. I love that everybody's really positive and upbeat about life. Generally auditors just love to complain. Maybe it's the beautiful ocean or maybe it's the fresh smell of the dump from our hotel room. Either way, it works for me. Next week, as busy season kicks off, we start pushing into 11 hour days, but we get free dinner, so winning at life. I'll keep you updated, of course, as I live an extremely interesting and vlog-worthy life. And once things settle down, it'll be time for some movie magic. You are most welcome. chickens running around here. According to our state agent, the hurricane in 2004 set a whole lot of the chickens loose and they got jiggy with it. So now there are thousands of chickens running around and nobody seems to be doing anything about it. Except KFC.